coming to a new video by DJ SPRC. Today we have the new SCX10 Bronco from Axial. It is based off the X10 3 rig. It's a great machine, looks awesome. There is two colors. There's the teal and you do have the white. There's some features on this truck that I do like a lot. One of the features is you can remove this body pin to be able to reopen, reopen, wow, to open the door. And it does have a detailed interior. Even some mats with the Ford logo on it. It has uh, box protectors or bed protector, maybe you should say. It does have a spare, functional spare. And one of the things I do like, this pin here, you can physically unscrew it. On this one, you need to remove the middle screw, but on the wheels itself, you can unscrew them to remove your uh, 7 mil nut that's underneath. You have shackles holder. You do have a plate. Functional LED lights. Same thing in the front. You have LED lights in front and shackle holders and another plate. You do have wipers on it. And a complete cage. A lot of space, a lot of space to put accessories. Now, the only thing I do not like, I don't know why. I know I should I, I should not say that. I know why they went for scale. It does not have portals. At first, I thought they would do like a basic uh, ACX-10 3, but no, there's no portals on it at all. And if you're looking to be scale, the Bronco did not, can, did not come with portals in that time. Let's open the cab. I'll show you underneath here. You do have the LEDs in front and your LEDs in the back. Q plugs. That plugs in the all-in-one Firma speed control, 40 amps. The difference they did with this one compared to the other guys, they added a cap. Don't know why. Maybe the servo is drawing more current or I, it's hard to say but it does have the dig. It has the space to put the two speed. The two speed is locked in one gear. Space to put two batteries if you want to, or one big in the back to give you some weight. Or if you want to put it uh, equal, to put it on this side here, these can be extended. They do give you the detail engine. Five liter. You do have the uh, wheel fenders with the optional LED lights that goes rainbow. Unfortunately, you cannot decide the color on these guys. The stock ones from Axial. It has the aluminum shocks. Aluminum links. Still plastic dry shafts, but that's fine. And if I remember correctly, it comes with a 35 turn brush motors. And yes, if you look right here too, the body clips are hidden underneath here. That means you don't see any body clips on the physical uh, vehicle. It does have the retro three piece beadlock wheels. Like I was saying, this you can't unscrew. Be able to have access to your, your seven, seven mil nut. 
it does come with a dx3 2.4 transmitter three channel and that's how you control your dig besides that an awesome machine would have been fun to have portals but to make it look scale that's the way they did if you guys have any questions or comment post down below I'll be glad to answer you guys and I want to say a big thanks to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. Go check out their website, www.greathobbies.com.